Hello, Mark Gallucci with Digital Control Incorporated here to bring you an updated Falcon F5 training video. This video details the changes made to the transmitter selection menu. So here we are at the main menu. Let's slide over to the transmitter selection menu. Transmitter selection menu is highlighted. Click the trigger. We're going to grab the middle option, which is also titled transmitter selection. Click the trigger. So we're looking at the four transmitters or songs that the Falcon F5 can listen to. FTR, Falcon Transmitter Rebar, is new. And we distinguish this transmitter using the term rebar because rebar, or reinforced concrete, is one of the most common sources of passive interference. So we've got it highlighted. Let's go ahead and click it. Notice now FTR has been moved up to the status bar as now that's the one that's been selected. Let's get back and do that one more time so that I can show you. If you do it again, it takes you to a shortcut menu. This shortcut menu is how you quickly toggle from the down mode to the up mode and also enable or disable the fluid pressure functionality. So I can get here, I can turn fluid pressure on or off, I can select the up mode or I can select the down mode. Let's sum it down, click it, which takes you to the locate screen. Red triangle with exclamation point lets you know that the handheld receiver has not yet been calibrated. So let's sum it down. Let's get back to transmitter selection, click the trigger. Now we're gonna grab the first option available, frequency optimization. Let's go ahead and click that trigger. Now, the left side of the screen is a scale, a scale used to measure active interference. And we measure active interference in dB decibels. The higher the fluctuating bar graph, the higher the background noise, or the higher the electrical interference. Immediately next to the scale, right here in this section, we see the two bands currently in use and the active interference levels that those bands are experiencing at this specific moment in time. Walking the drill path while observing the active interference levels of the currently paired bands lets you know if new frequency bands should be selected and paired or if the current bands are appropriate for the job at hand. Let's go ahead and run the frequency optimization. We do that by highlighting the blue button, curved arrow button, click the trigger. The numbers across the bottom identify or name the frequency bands. Bands 7, 11, 16 contain both the depth and data signal when in the up mode. So DCI defines the data as pitch, roll, temperature, battery life, and fluid pressure. The subkilohertz bands 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7 are the depth tones and that's exclusive to the down mode, the rebar mode, the passive interference mode. When in the down mode, the data signal automatically defaults to the same band assigned to the up mode. So whichever band you assign here, up here, automatically will be assigned down here, indicating the data signal used in the down mode. So let's go ahead and run this so you'll get a, a little better idea of what I've just explained. I'm going to go down here. We're going to get over and we're going to go pick ourselves an up mode band, a band that contains both the depth and the data. And just for drill, let's grab uh, band number 11. This is highlighted asking, is that where you want it? A confirmation it is. Click the trigger. Okay. So as I just explained, whichever band you assign in the up mode, automatically is reassigned in the down mode, but is specific to the data signal only. Now it's up to us to go ahead and grab a depth tone, a sub kilohertz tone. And let's just grab, let's grab band 0 0.3. Click it. It's asking to confirm, is that where you want it? It is, click the trigger. Okay, so now we're ready to go. We're ready to, we're ready to move on, but before we do that, as you can see graphically, the three depth bands are narrower, but each still contain dozens of usable frequencies. Always choose the lowest available depth band that isn't registering high on the interference scale. Said another way, 
If the sub kilohertz depth bands have similar interference levels, always select the lowest available tone. Select 0.3 before you select 0.5, and you'd select 0.5 before you'd select 0.7 if the active interference on those lower bands is too high. Okay, so before we move on, I think the last thing we want to show you is just uh, this FTR. It's just another indication of which transmitter has been selected. The green button, the green check, that takes us to the next step. That's highlighted. Let's click the trigger. There is an additional step here. Click the trigger. This takes you back to the frequency optimization. We don't want to do that. We want to continue, so we'll keep the right side. Click. Okay. So icon that is lit up now this would be standard pitch mode and standard fluid pressure mode if we want to change that to what we call full scale sensitive pitch meaning you're going to get pitch information in 0.1 percent increments throughout its entire range if this is what you're looking for you need to click it here and then do the pairing so in the interest of time, the interest in brevity, we're going to stop this video here, but I want you to look for the next video. It's entitled Full Scale Sensitive Pitch, and it takes off from where this one leaves, leaves off. Thank you.